Toxic Free Val. Hi, welcome to my channel again. I'm so glad you joined me and again thank you for subscribing and liking. It means a lot to me. Makes me smile, makes an old lady happy. Thanks. Um, narcissists. I'm going to do on a narcissist. Now there's thousands and thousands and thousands of videos out there on narcissism and they all go into great depth and great detail and they're all fantastic. Um, I can't compete with them and I'm not going to try. Um, I just want to sort of talk about narcissism from my view, from my experiences and what I think that they are um, layman's, in layman's terms. I don't even know what layman's terms means, but I'm going to have to Google that. I've just heard it. So, um, yeah, let's just do narcissism today, shall we? Um, where does it... I'm right, I've written it down because, you know, I, I waffle and I, I repeat my words and go um and ah and, and say the word basically a lot. You must hate me when I repeat that word. I'm going to try not to say it. Okay, where does it originate? Where does narcissism come from? Um, like the word bunny boil, it comes from the film Fatal Attraction, where the sociopath takes revenge on her love rival by boiling the daughter's bunny in a pot on the stove for revenge. Or the word gaslighting comes from the 1940s film about a man uh, making his wife go crazy so he can steal her jewels. Narcissus originates from the story of Narcissus, from a Greek mythology. Um, he was a hunter. He fell in love with himself. Um, when seeing his reflection in a pool of water. There are many stories about Narcissus, and he died from falling in the pool and drowned. Um, well, he drowned apparently when he was leaning in for a kiss to kiss his reflection. Dickhead. Another one is he died of sorrow because he could not get love from the um, from his image. And another one was he killed himself um, from the unrequited love. Um, I think I heard somewhere else that um, someone pushed him. Mind you, if I was behind him, I'd probably give him a big push as well, the narc. Um, either way, he's, he's dead. And um, yeah, so that's one less narc in the world. Had there been video cameras and mobile phones about, there'd been footage on Facebook doing the rounds, on featured on Live Leak and doing YouTube, but there isn't, so we'll never know. It's um, all gossip. I wasn't there. It wasn't me. Um, this video is based on my experience of a toxic person, a narcissist. I'm not a psychologist or a scientist. Um, I'm just someone who's been there and my own opinion on, I have my own opinions on the subject um, of what I've been through, and I want to help others to help them and understand all about narcs. There's videos all over YouTube explaining the scientific side. I'm no guru. I've got no diplomas. I'm just a person that's been through it. All I know is my experience, um, which is what I want to share the videos. Narcs are not just vain, um, which is what a lot of people think out there. Um, Narcissist personality disorder is a mental disorder in which people have an inflated sense of their own importance, a deep need for admiration and a lack of empathy for others. Disgusting people. But behind the mask of overconfidence is a fragile self-esteem that's vulnerable to the slightest criticism. A bad upbringing or an area of the brain where the empathy should be, whatever the reason, whatever it creates narcissism, and they are toxic and dangerous to our health. Which I know because we've been there. People can be brought up in the same way as each other, but if there's a dark area in the brain where the empathy should be, um, their life will they'll see life through a very different lens. Um, in a very different way. Again, I don't really know exactly what creates an arc, whether it's a multitude of empathy, no empathy in the brain and a dark area where it should be, or a bad upbringing or a little bit of both. I don't know. There's other people on this channel um, on YouTube that probably go into a lot more detail. I'm not a scientist. I'm just, um, I'm just me. Um, so basically, oh no, I said it. Oh God, I knew it wouldn't be long. Let's see. Um, they will act, um, they will create drama and hurt people um, at any opportunity and they have no empathy in the brain. Um, it's like what I've said in my old videos. It's like trying to explain, it's trying to ask somebody who's been blind from birth to describe the colour yellow. If they've never seen the colour yellow, they can't describe it. It's just not in there. They can't recall it. Um, and it's the same thing, I think, with narcs, with the empathy. They haven't got it in there. They can't recall it. They can't use it for any, anything. They can't. You need empathy for emotions. You need empathy for caring for uh, everything. Everything's built, built on your empathy. And if they don't have it, how the hell does their, their mouth work? That's why they're empty. I did a video of them being empty. That's why the words just, they just pull words out of the air because they actually, they've got nowhere else to use them from. Um, and they copy words from other people. I'm going off on one now. Um, so yeah, it is like trying to get someone who's blind to describe the colour yellow. They can't even say it's like a banana or it's like the sun. Not that we see it in England very much, but they can't. So it's again, narcs do not understand empathy. They even try, it's like getting blood out of stone. Um, I think they hate who they are and they have shame and hatred for who they've turned out to be. 
So they lie and pretend to be an empath, to be normal, using a mask, mirroring humans like they are aliens landing on Earth. So that's how I see them as like aliens trying to fit in, walking around, mirroring, copying other people, um, whilst underneath the evil, nasty people who just want to ruin people's lives. Um, in each narcissist, the traits are the same, but it differs from person to person. Now, there's 100 billion nerve endings and connections in people's brains. So you can imagine how unique each brain is and how different um, it's like the face, you know, you've all got eyes and a nose and a mouth, but they're all very, very different and unique. And I see that in narcs. I just think that they've all got, they've all got narcitis, but they all do it in different ways. Um, yeah, so each narc has their traits. Um, and we all watch videos on their traits. Here's a few of them. Um, charismatic, charming, controlling, conceited, create drama, likes to be in the spotlight, exaggerates their achievements, requires constant admiration. Um, takes advantage of others as the compulsive liars, pathological liars, yep. cannot deal with criticism, extremely jealous, lack empathy, need, needy behaviour, the centre of attention, inauthentic, highly dominant, God, there's a lot, attention-seeking, exploitive to others and arrogant. Now, I've added a few of my own. They cheat, they lie, they don't give a shit about anyone. They use people for their gain. They cause stress in the victim. They cause unnecessary arguments. They twist your words. They make you crazy. They don't listen. They take away your self-worth. They use your past against you, talk about you behind your back and make you feel completely distraught and destroyed. They're my words. I've added them on the end. We're all, no we're all narcissistic in some way, large or small. Some of the scales, obviously, from one end to the next. Um, empaths on one and psychopaths, sociopaths and everybody, well, not everybody else on the other side, but just sociopaths and narcissists and to toxic people. Um, so each narc has their own makeup. Um, they do have their all, all their own traits, but again, in all the uniqueness, I'm not, that's not, it's not, it's not a compliment. I'm not saying they're unique as a compliment. Um, all their above traits are traits to use, they use in numerous ways, um, numerous different scenarios, different relationships. Narcs are not black and white. These traits will show themselves in thousands of different ways, thousands of different lives, different stories in thousands of different countries. Um, the way I would describe traits, it's about what I think about narcissists and how I've experienced them and what I, I try and sort of put things across and people can either understand or not or turn me off. Um, they like ingredients in a cake. <laughs> I have some strange examples. So yeah, all the ingredients, all the above that I've just said are all ingredients to an arc. Um, and if you mix them all together and put some in more and some in less and different qualities and different quantities, then you'll get a different type of narc. That's how I see it as they're like a different type of, um, yeah, like ingredients in a cake. All ingredients are used in different amounts to create a different type of cake or narc. Um, my ex narc didn't have the conceitedness or look at me, I'm gorgeous kind of personality because um, he wasn't basically. Um, he had a lot of other things. Manipulation was one of his top traits um, and making me want to die was one of the severe others. Um, my last ex, the pathological liar and the sex addict, well, his top traits were, again, sex addiction and lying and stuff like that. Um, I found these traits to be the worst on him. So again, they'll all have, I think certain traits will kind of like float to the surface more than others, but they have them all in different ratios. Um, yeah, it's crazy how we feel that they've all been to an art college because they all have the same traits, again, in different measures. Um, so each trait creates a complex complexity of different outcomes for single person. Narcissists are not black and white. Narcs are the opposite to empaths. They want, they need, and they use people for their own gain. Empathy is the root to all our feelings, compassion, honesty, truth. The list goes on. Narcs destroy these good characters in us that they don't have. Um, so, yeah, so that's basically... Um, the narcissist, the, the covert narcissist, was covert because he was a little dweeb and he wasn't the most, um, you know, fabulous, great guy that he sort of made out to be. Uh, he was a little shit. I went for the ugly guy and look what happened and ended up with a, a covert. Um, so I'll give the ugly guy a chance. Didn't work out, did it? And you go for the pathological sex addict and all you want to do is hit him in his pathological face and kick him in the bollocks. But hey, never got around to doing that. So yeah, it's a dream of mine. So anyway, tactics. Um... That's all what their life's about is tactics. They don't actually do anything for you. It's all for them. Um, tactics. Everything a narc does um, is a tactic. Everything a narc does is for or about him. Um, you are a tool. Uh, buying you flowers. No, the flowers are not for you. Don't get excited. It's a tactic. It's to make them look good and so that you'll be fooled and deceived and think that they're a nice guy. 
running you a hot bubble bath with candles and wine, which is what happened to me with the pathological sex addict. Um, yeah, I thought it was lovely. I thought it was very, very nice. Nope, tactic. Nope, doing it to, to fool you, to make you feel that, you know, he's a romantic, nice, special, and you're special and he cares about you, and he didn't at all. Um, so, yeah, you've just been fooled and deceived into opening up, trusting him and thinking he's a perfect man, but he wasn't. These are just tactics, um, basically, to prove that uh, that they're a nice person with a not. Um, buying you a Swarovski necklace. Like this one. Oh, where are we? Beautiful. Look at that. They're all going around. So that's basically another tactic. Let's throw that away. I'll need that for eBay later. Um, it's all tactics. He got me the necklace. In fact, he got his girlfriend the same type of necklace. Tactic. <laughs> Sorry. It's all tactics. Yeah, I thought, oh, what a wonderful guy. His, his first visit bought me a necklace. Yeah, for a Christmas present. Tactic. So it's just to basically for him to prove his chances of uh, getting you in his spider, spider web of false love. And once you were there, trapped by your own love for a false person. So they just do all these little tactics to get you to think they're a nice person. Every single thing a narc does is for himself. It's to gain something. They buy you a present. It's so that you trust them. They'll do everything they do for you. They don't do it for you. They're doing it so that you will get the re they'll get the reaction from you, which would be probably love or the supply or. It's ridiculous. Um, to no one can warn you of a narc because he portrays himself as a lovely person. He will show his true colours only to the target though. But in short, the world around him will seem as a wonderful person. A relationship with a narc is only found out after you've been through all the stages. It can only come after and it comes all together at the end. Well, it did for me after he called me a sociopath on Facebook, as we all know that in old uh, videos. Um, you Google his traits and watch the YouTube videos and it hits you. He's a vicious, manipulative, selfish, deceitful, lying, sociopath, little shit. Um, I would think it was me. We all think it's us, but the traits are one of a narc and it's always them, not us. So we're normal. They're broken. Um, if they manipulate, lie, cheat, deflect and project like a narc, then they're a narc, end of. So all in all, everything a narc does is for their gain, for their ego, for their supply. They create the world in which you are the actor. You will act according to what he puts in front of you. You will reply to his lines. You will react to the scenes he creates. You will get angry when he directs you in that way and he will trip you up and he will lie and everything he does or says is deceit. He'll trip you up so that you, um, and then call you stupid. Um, your decisions, your reactions is what they want. You're, they want your reactions and they will direct their play so that your reactions is something that they can control. They will make you angry on purpose and they will call you mad. They will make you crazy with circular conversation and call you crazy. They will cheat on you and then call you insecure. They direct the play and they are the puppet masters in the relationship. Da -da -da. End of. Narcissist. I hope that made sense to anybody new that's looking for the word narcissist and actually wants to know what it is. Um, I'm trying to make that as simple as possible. I try not to get too angry. <laughs> it doesn't really work. Um, again, there's loads and loads of videos out there about narcissism and um, I just wanted to try and get a little different angle on it. I don't think I did that, but we can try. Um, so I hope that helped. I think that's it. Just be careful. And... Um, I've learned so much since doing these channels and I must admit, do you know what? Can I just say one thing? Um, I'm a hairdresser, doesn't show. I've always got spiky bits, don't know why. Um, my clients, you've noticed the difference in me, the change in me, and you know why? Because of this channel and that's why I'm so passionate about it because it's actually healing me. Um, I feel my worth's back. I had no value for a long time. That was taken from me. Um, I have value now. Um, I feel like I'm doing something with the pain that I've had over my life. We've all had pain, and it's how we use the pain and um, how we keep strong. I'm not scared of supporting my actions. I'm not scared of sticking up for myself. Um, I just want to put out there and help people and use what I've gained in my experiences to, to help. We all know that because I've repeated it before in other channels, but my clients have noticed the difference, and it's the fact it's the support of all you subscribers and everybody on, on, on YouTube. Um, that are, that are helping me and I, I feel my values back I feel like I'm doing something worthwhile um, I'm not just empty and broken anymore I, I'm maybe still empty and broken but I'm using my empty brokenness to help people and it means a lot to me and um, every time I get a little thumbs up or a little like it, it makes me smile because I just think that's one extra person I've got to and 
yeah, I'm very passionate about this channel now, so I'm hoping it works. My last one didn't take off very well. I don't think I put a lot of effort into it. I twiddled a lot of settings and messed around with it. Um, I even changed the name halfway through and I just did something. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden it just went flat and my ex found it. So I just thought, well, let's start a new one. Um, so I value support. So I'm going to shut up now. All right, guys, stay safe. Take care.